Hello, this is Jamie Shaw, and I am a Senior CAD Support Specialist with the Illinois Department of Transportation, and today we're going to cover creating a plan and profile sheet. So I'm a, I've got my workspace set, district. If you're a consultant, you're going to want to use IDOT Consultant. I've set up a work set. According to my job number, all my properties are filled out in my advanced properties for my work set. And I'm going to go click New, and I'm going to create... Let me navigate to my place where everything is. And I want to create a plan and profile. Of course, you're going to use whatever naming convention that you need to use. We're going to do a 50 horizontal and 5 vertical. And then we're going to hit, make sure we hit the browse button. Make sure we have a 2D seed file. Hit open, save. Give already a few minutes to open up. Then we're going to go into our references. We're going to attach our corridor, coincident world, and we want to give it a live nesting of three. Close, do zoom extents, give it a nesting of three because inside the corridor the alignment and the train model and the survey are all in there so if you give it a nesting definite nesting of three then it has everything in there um, if we look at the plan 3d see it didn't come up because i don't have my surface active so if i activate my surface it'll create the 3d model and there's my 3D model. So we don't need the 3D model for plan of profile. So we want to. First thing we want to do is we want to go to our drawing production and we want to go to name boundaries. We're doing 50 and 5, so we want to make sure our scale set to 50. So, uh, so we're going to click on plan, civil plan. We're going to set our run to a plan of profile rule 50 horizontal 5 vertical scale it automatically sets our detail scale to 1 to 50 um, give it a a name length is correct uh, offsets are fine um, so next thing you want to do is highlight the alignment then you want to give it a starting station we're going to go from 110 all the way to 144 And if it doesn't give you the exact measurement, you can type it in 145 plus zero, zero. And you want to make sure your create drawing is unchecked because we're just creating the plan view right at the moment. And you see there's three sheets there. So if you data point, then it places the name boundaries. The next thing we want to do is we want to click on the alignment again. 
we want to open wait for our context menu hit open profile model open view four and click inside there we have our profile model <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is go back into name boundaries and we're going to click on profile we want to choose the same one plan profile roll profile five, five vertical 50 horizontal and I give it a name I, I name the other one I-72 plan a profile should have just been plan this is I-72 profile the description I-72 profile I know I can't spell and then we'll make sure our method is from plan group that way it pulls these exact name boundaries down into the profile group and our plan group is existing center line 5 which you can that's fine uh, create a new group in the name of its I-70 to profile the vertical exaggeration and everything is fine and you want to make sure to check create drawing boundary and you click into your profile view and then it'll place your profiles and then as soon as you data point to accept it the create do drawing dialog box will open in the create drawing dialog box you want to here's where you can name everything uh, and you can change the name here so we can take profile out of here just i-72 take a you can take that out i-72 plan or just do it just like the profile is i-72 dash plan i-72 plan Same here, I uh, seventy two dash seventy two plan, and the other side's the profile. In this, the annotation group, you want to make sure to set to whatever district you're working in. I'm working in District Six, so I'll plan annotation District Six. This annotation group on the profile should be set to profile grade fifty high and five vertical um, let's go fix the name on this i72 and we'll just call these plan and profile make sure your annotation group is set to 1 to 50 just like that one this one should be set to 1 to 1 on both of them and the name boundary should be set to 1 to 1 so as soon as you have all this set hit OK it'll run through and create your sheets and then if we go back and look at our sheets you can see Everything was created. Everything's labeled. Um, if your label, your arrowheads are not filled in, go up to each planner profile sheet and turn on fill. Then you can see the arrowheads fill in. Sheet two fill. It places your strip grade for your existing in uh, magenta color and then a pink color for your proposed elevations. Um, all this stuff does not fill in until you add it to your sheet index. So, we already have one in our sheet index, it was a summary quantities video I did earlier, which is fine. Um, so, let's do some extents there. And uh, 
we'll go ahead and add these to our sheet index. So you want to go to your home tab, go to models, and grab all three of your sheets. I forgot you have to activate your sheet model and just drag and drop them. You can do it that way or you can go click on this button. You have to select a sheet index first. Click on this button and then you can navigate to your DGN and pick it and only pull out the sheet models. <coughs> Which I can show you real quick. <coughs> So if I pick a uh, my plan and profile, hit open. You just click. Usually it'll list all the sheets, but since I don't really have, I've already got the sheets added in here. It's not going to show it, so which is fine. So and once you add them, you see it. It fills in. Everything that's just sheet three of three. Your total sheets doesn't show up, but if you go up in here and click on it and go update sheet model properties, it'll add the total sheets in there. So we got four sheets in here, including the summary quantities. This is we're on sheet number three of four. So if you want to do extra labeling, Say I want an elevation here or something like that. Um, go to your sheet, your profile view. Let's see, profile sheet. So I want to label an elevation here. I can go into drawing production, go to civil labeler, let it load up, and then go into profile. I want a Station elevation, place it, and I just snap to the bottom of that. Some of these civil labelers act kind of goofy, you just got to play around with them. So, place, snap to there. Ow. I'll see, I see why, because I don't have a leader set. Set to auto. Let's do the horizontal. On the left, right, we got it set to a rectangle, which you can have a rectangle around it if you want. No, it's not working for some reason. There it is. So it gives you the station and the elevation with a box around it. Um, you can do a partial station. You know, there's, there's a lot of other things. If you want to label in the plan view, change your profile view to, um, let's see, plan view number one. And we want to go in and label this culvert. Uh, go into, I think it's plan linear. We want the We can go in and do the beginning of our project, enter, you know, into the our work project. So let's switch back over to um, the first few. I didn't like that for whatever reason. Already hung up a little bit. Didn't like that command. So if I'm in the very first plan sheet, I want to do a start begin work label so we can hit place on it we can snap to the end there and then pull out our label I missed a step in that though because you notice it didn't populate the station so if I hit undo go place identify reference geometry so I gotta identify my center line then I want to accept the point, and then I want to pull my my label out. Now, I'm 
I'm going to have to try this again. I had another line behind my alignment. That's why I didn't calculate it correctly. Now it should calculate the station like I did, like I did there. So when we go to the other end, we want to go to sheet two, which is the end of the project. And we want to do end project work, which you can go in and modify these labels if you want to. Click on place. I want to snap to the alignment. I want to snap to the intersection. And then we want to place our label. So it cal it's calculating where the end of the project is. I might not have snapped to the exact 145, but you know, but you understand this calculating label for me. So once we go back into the the sheet views, you can see that label is there now. You want to do all your labeling in your drawing model. If we go to sheet two, you see that label there. And then if you want to go into the last plan of profile sheet, you see the end label there. So there's a lot of you can do with the labeling, but like I said, you want to uh, make sure you do all your labeling in the drawing models. When we selected the annotation group, you noticed it put in the the correct district sent north arrow for me and it put in my match lines so if i go back to the center one we got a match line on this side and a match line on this side and then turn our view attributes on fill um, you may have to go into the profile view and pull these back a little bit because they're going outside the sheet but it's because or you may need to adjust your um, your viewports, stuff like that. So um, that's just how it labels everything. So, you know, there may be some adjustments on your end to get it to label correctly. But that's all I have for you today. Uh, hope this helped. If you have any questions, make sure you email, email me and let me know. Uh, all the sheets work the same. All the sheet seeds. Um, and you see in the boundary, you know, when you're setting the name boundaries, all the different sheets that are in there, there's 20 scale, there's 50 scale, there's 100 scale. So there's different ones. So thank you very much for your time.